You know what? I have qualified really doctors in Ghana, but they don't have the equipment. That's very unfortunate. They are up to any level anywhere in this world. But unfortunately, the equipment are not there for them to work. And sometimes we have dedicated doctors, they get frustrated. And that is why I feel that it's important that we try to get to see what we can do on this one. Okay. You should be the one company that can help. In my understanding, in your region, the cardiac and, and hypertension, high blood pressure is yeah. more the pressing acute need, diabetes. The non, non, non communicable non -communicable diseases are picking up more than the communicable diseases. So that's becoming more cardiovascular. Right. Yeah, so mitral valves and the early valves. Correct. And, and the good news is, although here this is the home of our, our spine business, we are well connected, and I've been in Medtronic now a dozen years. Most of that time was out of our headquarters in, in Minneapolis, working with a lot of those business leaders who lead the diabetes franchise, our car ambassador franchise, and even our, our hypertension franchise. And in all the strategies, we talk about bringing low-cost solutions. That goes both ways, from the U.S. to Ghana. All from Canada here, yeah. so they can get exposure to the most possible. We've been doing this for a month or six weeks. Experience spending is six weeks in Larry or Dave Pauly yep. or Zimsky you know, or uh, Anjo King. Anjo, yeah. yeah. Been very good. Anjo took over my class. <laughs> so I, I was with Anjo over dinner um, at, at a society meeting just a, a few weeks ago. And so, um, yeah. and to your point. That's a unique opportunity and one of the leading institutions in the world. And so there's an element of, of brand and, and coverage uh, and presence that you have by going and, and doing fellowships in and out of institutions like that. So now, but do you have any uh, low cost manufacturing plants anywhere else in the world? No. I mean, we, we can't afford these very good schools. We're going to make it $50. Right. Yeah. And if it's manufactured well, local, they can give it to the government. See what they have lined up and what can be yes. Absolutely. And again, that's a big investment, so I'm assuming it's a, a long time in terms of how you guys are thinking planning. But the sooner we can get started at least laying out what the model could look like, the better. Exactly. And you can replicate that across the network and as you guys. It also guess. helps us if you can look at the financial structure. Mm -hmm. but that's also like one major issue. So we can have a good financial arrangement so that we can spread over. Yeah. Give more flexible plans to be able to meet it. Because we're going to some financial constraints. Okay. The economy is okay. We're trying to build. Yeah. But we still need the help of the equipment. But you have the equipment. So Correct. We need the equipment. So and with the. If even we have money or not, we need the equipment. So we know that. We know that. We have the structure to spread the equipment. Right. That's what we're trying to you can do for me on my facility. Okay. You know, with the one 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 is also to time. When we go back, we can identify that set up a collaboration with you. We can identify what sort of equipment we need. We can do it as a package and then we say this is how much we're going to spend the payment. Yes. And then we'll I think we that is something we can absolutely do. And here yeah. we have examples on on a smaller scale yeah, of doing that. Exactly. Flexible contracting arrangements. Yeah. That, that make it amenable for us to actually be able to supply product and then 
contract terms be extended over time. What's exciting about this is the scale of investment that you guys are pursuing. It makes it easier for us to get even more lenient on it terms and duration because there's a path to a much larger and broader partnership, right? And so if it was a one, one hospital, it would be more difficult, right? But when we talk 111 hospitals and clinics, that is something that moved the needle for all of us. And more importantly, for more patients around the, around the world. Existing hospitals, right. right. How many existing hospitals are like in terms of scale? Is it there's 111? No, 111 is quite a lot. Yeah, still quite a lot. Bigger teaching hospitals, supporting hospitals, right? I know I'm aware of a few of the teaching hospitals we're supporting. One of which I believe in Kamasi, which I think is your home, hometown, yeah. right? And, and then the University of Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. And so I know we have, again, boots on the ground supporting some of that work at, yeah. in Kumasi yeah. um, and then also at the, the University Medical Center. Um, but those are just a few that I know of. And so getting a sense of the landscape um, within those existing ones where we're supporting and then the others that exist today and then adding on top of that to your point with 111 is, is a really exciting opportunity. I wouldn't come here if I don't have any need for what you have here. I don't waste my time. <laughs> I come here because I think it's relevant for my country to benefit from here. That's exciting. And that's why I came. I don't that I'm not coming here to look for fun. Yes. I came here because I know you have equipment that I need. Yes. And I want a fair arrangement where we can meet together, which only beneficial to our to your company and my, my country. Yes. So it is more important. He put it, he was looking at my visit to uh, Memphis and he said electronic is also one day, so we have to go there. Thank you. And I asked yeah. him to convince me why I should go. He said they have equipment. They are medical. It's a medical. Yes. Right. But I go there because I need equipment for my health yes. delivery. It's one big issue that I need. Yes. You have it. And unfortunately, I come and I see you here. And so I'm not going to say that. I'm not taking no back. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, well, we have it documented, so I'm not taking. No back either. <laughs> One thing I do want to say, there is what I call synergy to not just the work we're doing in health communities, the exposure or access to technologies and, and some of those small scale programs that these leaders are driving, we'd love to take outside of our walls of Medtronic or our, our cities like Memphis to take that into regions um, like yours um, because we think it is again absolutely critical and, and more than just charity work, but work that is important for the, the world and, and the how we serve, so I don't want to miss that opportunity. We will make sure that the equipment discussion is had, but I think in parallel it would be great to talk about how that ties into the opportunity to improve education. You know, when I have qualified training doctors in Ghana, but they don't have the equipment. That's fair. Unfortunately, they are up to any level, anywhere in this world. But unfortunately, the equipments are not there for them to work. And sometimes we have dedicated doctors, they get frustrated. And that is why I feel that it's important that we try to see what we can do on this one. Okay. You should be the one company that can help. Keep watching African Media 247. Ghana is about to rise beyond the line and to stay close. The press is free, the people know they are right and to stay close. My name is Ochiame Kwame, the rap doctor, and you are on Africa Media 247. We are here 247. Allah. Africa Media 247.